Hi everyone, welcome back to the Web2 channel. My name is Zach. In this video, we're looking at more institutional crypto adoption with Goldman Sachs offering e-fund to clients through Galaxy Digital. The bank's introducing crypto curious clients to Galaxy Institutional Ethereum Fund, the SEC's document show. Let's go through what is happening here. Goldman Sachs is offering, let's get this so that you can actually read it. If not, we'll do it this way. Goldman Sachs is offering interested clients across access to an Ether fund issued by Galaxy Digital according to regulatory documents, which we're going to have a look at, that was filed on Tuesday to the SEC. A source from the world of institutional crypto trading confirmed to Coindesk that Goldman acts as a feeder for the Galaxy Fund. The amended form D filing states Goldman Sachs and Co. LLC will receive an introduction fee for clients it brings to the Galaxy Institutional Ethereum Fund. Galaxy issued that fund last March. With a 250,000 USD minimum investment, the fund has sold over 15 million USD to 28 clients. Filings show it's difficult to say how much, if any, flow Goldman is responsible for as the investment bank was not involved when it first launched. It's not the first Goldman Sachs tie up with Galaxy Digital, the crypto investment firm helped by Mike Novogratz in June. Galaxy agreed to funnel liquidity to Goldman Sachs Bitcoin futures offering. Galaxy offers a Bitcoin to Morgan Stanley in an arrangement similar to what we're seeing with Goldman. What we're seeing right here is the SEC document itself. Obviously, not exactly great to see unless I zoom in, I guess. Here we go. And of course, we can see what's happening here, right? Where we see, of course, the issuer's identity. And of course, if we go further down, we can, of course, see Mike Novogratz or Michael Novogratz with the address, this, that, and the other. And then further down, of course, we can see that it's a pulled investment fund, other investment fund, not uh, registered as an investment company in the Company Act of 1940. Then, of course, regarding revenue range, declined to disclose federal exemptions, looking at 506C. And then looking at the type of filing, it is an amendment, date of first sale, 2021, February 19. Does the issuer intend this offering to last more than one year? Yes, they do. It's a pool investment fund interest. It's offering being made in connection with a business and combination transaction such as merger, acquisition, or exchange offer, which is a no. Minimum investment, as you can see, is 250,000 USD. And then, of course, we have the recipient being Goldman Sachs and the total amount sold being 50.5 million USD. That being said, a short story, but definitely something that is always interesting to see is in institutions getting into the crypto space. It's nothing new. We saw this happening last year, uh, but now, of course, we're still continuing to see it. Of course, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. More institutions doing this. Galaxy Digital really going hard with this. I believe they're also the company that is behind some of the MLB stuff that we're seeing. I know that Gary V is associated, if not a part of this company as well. So always interesting to see what happening here but with that being said for everything happening in the crypto entity metaverse space this is the web channel coming everything happening subscribe for anything on that list have a great day everyone i'll see you in the next web3 video